magician, can you tell us what brings you to Corringham Library today? Well, it's Corringham Winter Fair, which happens every year, and every year I do magic in the library. So what kind of magic tricks do you do? Uh, my favourite uh, magic is close-up magic, where it happens in your hands or, or under your nose. Um, stuff suitable for younger people. Uh, I do balloon modelling as well, so a, a, a varied mixture of it. So the young people are in for a real treat today with all your magic tricks and balloon art as well. I hope so, yes, I hope they'll enjoy it. So where does your inspiration come from? Uh, well, I'm a member of the Magic Circle, so uh, I get a lot of information from there. I'm a member of the Ilford Magic Society. And I like reading about magic, so uh, I try and put my own slant on, on tricks. You say reading about magic. Can we mention the Harry Potter? What do you think about their magic? Oh, it's fantastic magic. I wish I'd have gone to Hogwarts. Don't we all? I wish I'd gone to... I think our letters got lost in the post. Did but, they? <laughs> but are you going to be able to show us a few magic tricks? By all means, yes. Um, let's see what we've got in the pocket here. Do you know what these are? Ropes. They are bits of rope. In fact, we have a long piece a medium sized piece and a short piece. Can you just examine them and make sure they don't stretch, don't shrink, there's no funny ends and there's no funny needles. They look super to me. Now apparently one of the tests for getting into Hogwarts is um, if you have to take a, a long piece of rope, a medium sized piece of rope and a short piece of rope and make all the ends level. Now the easiest way to do that is to fold the short rope in half, the medium sized rope in half and the long rope in half and then all the ends are level. Yes. You don't seem very impressed with that. <laughs> no. Okay, if you take three ends in one hand and three in the other, give it a little blow. Sometimes the little one will stretch. <laughs> On a good day, it stretches quite a bit. On a perfect day, it will stretch all the way out and you do end up with one medium-sized piece of rope, two medium-sized pieces of rope, three medium-sized pieces of rope. So now, of course, when you fold the ropes in half, not only are all the ends level, but all the loops are level. But that would be absolutely impossible to do if all you had was a short piece of rope, a medium sized piece of rope and a long piece of rope. <laughs> That's amazing. It's <laughs> absolutely amazing. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. Have, a, have a great Christmas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another year has gone past. Good grief. And how are you? Why? What have you heard? I've heard that you're super, but you must oh, be so busy this I time of year. I have been years. very, very busy. It hasn't helped this year because of the snow as early as it is, but it's been very good. How's okay. travelling in the snow? Uh, it's not so bad. Uh, just take it nice and steady, especially with the reindeers pulling. As so long as they don't go too fast, like the cars, they're absolutely fine. It's Rudolph, he must be being really useful. Uh, yes, very much so. The nice thing with it, because of the shiny nose, sees where we're going, so there's not a problem there. So what is in store this Christmas? Is Tharak going to be full of presents? I hope it is, certainly, because Tharak is one of the nicest places in the area, I think, in the southeast of Essex, it's, or southwest of Essex, aren't we, really? But yes, I think it's nice. It's just a shame that the snow has um, pulled off our main celebrations tonight, which is a shame, but it's one of those things. But you've been met by loads of, like, the magician showing you tricks, and you've got loads of cakes over there oh, as well. Oh, yes, yes, so cakes. I've got to keep up the practice for the Christmas Eve, and uh, all of those little sweets and chocolates and bits and pieces that the children leave for the reindeers. Well, funny you should say that, because last year I gave you a mince pie, but you requested a pork pie and a parsley. I did, so that's right, yes. I have braved the snow and bought you a pork pie. Oh, thank you. And I your reindeers a parsley. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm going to look forward to this. Now, should I cheat and give hey, that and give that to the... Uh, no, I'll have the pork pie, I'll think. I'll have the pie and the reindeers I'll chop this up a little bit and I'll have a little morsel of each. That'd be brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Does that mean I'm on your good list? You're always on my good list, Archie Lucy. Oh, you really no. are. <laughs> well, Christmas to you. And I wish you the best of luck on Christmas Eve and I hope you're not too busy. I thank you very much indeed. It'll be absolutely wonderful. And just remember, be good, be good, be good. <laughs> Thank you.